Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be talking about how to install Docker on Ubuntu. So let's get into the video. So you can uh, download this guide, uh, you know, uh, from your K21 Academy portal. Okay, so uh, I already have my Ubuntu machine ready. Uh, let me quickly connect to that machine. Uh, let me copy the IP. Uh, just give me a minute to, and then yeah sudo su hyphen yep yeah. okay so this is my instance okay my uh, instance running on the AWS and it's a just normal normal Ubuntu machine uh, which is um, uh, you know it's a fresh machine it doesn't install I, I have not installed anything yet uh, and then uh, let me increase the font size so that you can see it properly change settings appearance change and mode. I think now it is I hope it is visible it's it, yes it is more clear now okay so let's do this okay so now um again um okay so i'm running a ubuntu machine which is 22.04 version it's a ubuntu machine and it's a normal machine that i've installed uh, you know uh, on the aws environment and you can deploy vm anywhere as i said it can be a google cloud or aws or azure wherever you want or it can be a local machine as well okay so so now uh, first thing is uh, um, you know to install the uh, you know docker right uh, first get the uh, latest uh, updates uh, in, by running the apt get updates i hope everyone knows this uh, commands on linux uh, on ubuntu especially so what it does is uh, apt get update uh, will update the um, you know metadata of the um, you know uh, the uh, what do you call the software repositories so apt get is the command which is used to install the you know packages on the ubuntu machine okay so let's get the latest updated metadata uh, from the ubuntu website okay so it connects to the ubuntu you know archive and it gets the uh, latest uh, package metadata from the ubuntu repositories right now after that you know so what you need to do is uh, if in case you are if you are running a docker older version right you can just say apt get remove docker and all of these commands but i'm not running this because this is a freshly deployed machine which doesn't have any docker on this machine so if you are already running a docker and if you want to reinstall it so remove this older version and then run the new version if not you can skip this uh, you know command it's it's an optional command okay now the next command is again uh, apt get update we have already done so there is no need to run that so the next thing is there are some dependencies that you need to install on this particular the client that is um, CS certificate this is one of the uh, package that you need to install curl is the web browser that you need to install because using the curl it it fetches a few uh, gpg keys and uh, some few parameters and you, of course you need this curl and wget uh, as a web browsers and the uh, gnu gpg is the uh, license file that you need to install and then lsb release is the lsb modules that you are installing okay so these are all some dependencies that you need to install okay so apt get install and then install uh, this particular dependencies right okay so let me check that okay so I pull that okay let me clear my screen and then apt install and install the dependent packages okay so press y and that will install the packages okay so after that add docker's official gpg repository so as i told you right we need to install the docker for that we need to get the certificate key from the docker repositories so that you can install the docker packages so for that right we are using the curl web browser 
and getting the GPG key from the download.docker.com website and after downloading it downloads the GPG file into this location user share on the current machine okay so you can copy this file and that will download the required GPG keys from the docker repository okay so let me clear my screen and then copy paste okay so basically it downloads this gpg key into this location user share keyrings and it will create a file called docker rk keyring .gpg. so this is the key that is used to uh, uh, you know authenticate uh, to the uh, docker uh, downloads or docker.com to install the address okay and then uh, now once your gpg key is ready right we need to create a repository so, so you know repositories in linux environment right if at all you wanted to install a package right you need to enable the repositories whether it is centos red hat or ubuntu whatever it is so we need to create a repository stable repositories so for that we need to provide the the key that we have created which is gpg key and then the location from which it has to download the uh, you know um, docker software that is download or dockers.com and we are updating this information into etc apt sources dot list sources dot the docker dot list so whenever you you run apt get install docker right it will get the source list from this file okay so so that's how the repository file is been created okay so run this command and if you see right let's run this command and then i'll show you the file where it will be created exactly so now see you can go to this cat uh, etc apt sources docker dot list so when you open this file right see what it is doing it is use, using the deb, uh, deb uh, uh, what do you call uh, command and the architecture is amd64 and this is the signature that we have downloaded previously and it will download the packages from this website that is download.docker.com slash linux slash ubuntu okay so this is the location from which the packages will download this is the uh, signature file which it gets authenticated to download this docker software and this is the version of the architecture of your current ubuntu machine or architecture of your uh, docker software because this architecture should match with the architecture of your uh, you know uh, os that is you can say uname hyphen a so uh, this architecture and this uname should match okay so now once this file is done just run the apt get update okay so that it gets the latest metadata from this docker repositories okay, apt get update see see it gets see there is a download it gets the updated metadata from the docker.hub.com okay so now your uh, repository is ready now the next thing is you need to install the docker so for that right so apt install docker ce that is the community version as i told you right docker has two versions ce and ee okay ce is community version and ee of course you need the license and all those stuff so that's why we are using ce and again we also seen right we have two phases one is docker service daemon and docker cli so docker c cli is the tool which is used to uh, which is used to uh, run the commands Container D is the one which is supported, uh, you know, supported uh, uh, dependency to run the containers and Docker Compose. Again, Docker Compose is a different uh, plugin. Uh, that's a different, uh, you know, uh, uh, concept altogether. Don't go into that as of now because you need to learn a lot of other things before Compose. So Compose is one of the plugin uh, that is used by Docker uh, to create a complex, um, you know, environment so that we will discuss later you know whenever we are discussing docker compose okay so run this command and that will install the docker and its dependencies okay so let's copy paste that and then install the docker services and press y and that will install the docker on your machine okay so once this is installed 
you need to start and enable the docker daemon okay because if you don't enable the daemon whenever you reboot this machine the docker service will be in the disabled state okay so wait for this to install okay okay now it is installed so system ctl um, start docker and then system ctl enable docker start is it will start the service in the current session enable is even if you reboot uh, the docker service will be uh, started automatically even after reboot so that's the you know, meaning of a uh, system to enable uh, docker okay so that's how that's it your docker is now running you can also run docker uh, system ctl status docker okay you can see that the docker service is running so this service is nothing but a daemon that is server that is nothing but your see docker application container engine this is nothing but your container engine the software whenever you run right that is nothing but a container engine so now we will use docker cli uh, you know to create the container on top of this container engine okay so container engine is nothing but your docker software okay and using docker cli we will create containers on top of this engine okay so that's fine uh, you don't have to write this you know uh, all these things id and all because you have installed it as a root user if not you can add that id that's fine so because you have installed it as a root user so now we can run few commands that is okay let me clear my screen you can say docker version okay so this is one command that you can use so this is this docker is nothing but a cli this command whatever you see right this is cli command so it prints the version of the docker and the version of docker is 2010 16 so that's the version and this is the build number of the docker that you are currently running okay now so that's simple uh, you know um, and i think you have docker info also docker info okay you, it will it will give you a lot of information like you know again uh, don't bother about this information we will understand more uh, when we uh, when we when we practice more in docker so there's a client version and you will see uh, some information like see docker root directory where lib docker so all your containers whenever you create it will be created or saved inside where lib docker okay so these are some parameters that you can check and this is a ubuntu os version kernel version architecture os type and all those stuff so that that's docker info and docker um, you know um, uh, docker version so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concepts or if you want to dive deeper then we have something really really special for you we have our free class on docker and kubernetes certification to get you higher paying jobs and in this interactive session we will be learning about why learn containers that is dockers and kubernetes we'll be learning about the whole docker container architecture we'll be getting to know about some hands-on demo we'll be getting to know the certifications regarding kubernetes cka cks and ckad and we do have q a's along with a limited time gift so if you want to enroll for this free class all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash k8 s 02 and after that you just have to click on book your free seat now and after that, you just have to select an event date according to your availability, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on Yes, Save My Seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL. You can add this URL to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.